Well, hey guys, today let's revisit a topic near and dear to my heart as a board certified dermatologist, and that is hair loss. Very distressing to go through. A common type of hair loss that affects both men and women is androgenetic alopecia, otherwise known as pattern hair loss. Today, in partnership with iRestore, I'm gonna be talking about low-level laser therapy, one of my favorite treatment options for androgenetic alopecia, and I'm going to be updating you with regards to the iRestore Elite device, which I have been using for the past several months at this point. Before we talk about hair loss, let's talk about hair growth. There are a few key pointers that you need to understand about hair growth before we can begin to address how to, well, grow the hair. Hair growth happens in a cycle. All of the hair follicles on our head are in a different phase of the hair growth cycle. So the first main phase is antigen. Antigen is essentially the growing phase. It lasts anywhere from two to eight years, depending on your genetics, hormones, and a variety of other factors. Antigen is, like I said, when the hair is growing from the root. After antigen, the hair transitions to, well, a transitional phase known as catagen. Catagen lasts approximately four to six weeks. During catagen, the hair stops growing, it detaches from the blood supply, and the hair follicle shrinks. After catagen, the hair goes into a resting phase known as telogen. Now, telogen lasts approximately three months. During telogen, the hair is in a resting, dormant state. Before re-entering antigen and growing a new healthy hair, the telogen hair has to be shed. Now, on a given day, approximately 100 to 200 telogen hairs are normally shed. Everybody should expect that. That is normal. And you'll notice the telogen hairs that come out, they have a little white tip at the end. It's actually a good sign because it means that a new antigen hair is going to grow in its place and can grow long and strong. What happens with pattern hair loss, however, androgenetic alopecia, is that the hair follicle miniaturizes. It essentially turns into a little vellus peach fuzz hair. And this becomes apparent in the signs of a widening central part in women, a receding hairline in men, and an overall decrease in density and thickness. Androgenetic alopecia is progressive. There are many different treatment modalities, but there is no cure. One of my favorite treatment options that can be used by itself or in conjunction with other treatment options is low-level laser therapy. And one of the main reasons I like low-level laser therapy is not only is it evidence-based, but it's something that you can actually do at home. And we're going to get into that in today's video. But how does low-level laser therapy work and what exactly is it in the first place? Low-level laser therapy uses selected wavelengths of light, specifically red light, to target the follicle. And what ends up happening is essentially something called photobiomodulation. And there are three main beneficial outcomes with regards to hair growth that you get from low-level laser therapy with red light. The photobiomodulation leads to an improvement in energy in the hair follicle cells. I've said this before, but it bears re-mentioning in case you forget. It is actually very, very metabolically demanding to grow a single strand of hair. It requires a lot of energy. And so low-level laser therapy actually kind of boosts up the metabolism of the follicle by targeting the mitochondria of the hair follicle cells. Low-level laser therapy also has anti-inflammatory benefits for your scalp, leading to improved scalp health. So not only does it help with the health of the root, but it also helps with the health of the soil, your scalp. Third, low-level laser therapy also improves blood flow to the follicle, which is essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients and growth factors for that metabolically demanding process of growing a healthy hair. Low-level laser therapy by these three mechanisms essentially can help get those follicles that are dormant back into the growing phase. Low-level laser therapy with red light can essentially help get dormant follicles back into the antigen phase, the growing phase of the hair cycle, and also just improve overall scalp health. Not only is it effective, but it's very safe to do. Like I said, I really like this treatment modality because it can be done from the comfort of your own home. So that being said, there are many devices on the market, and a common question I get is, why do you recommend, why do you recommend iRestore devices over others on the market? I have been recommending iRestore devices and using them myself for years and years and years. The iRestore Elite is actually the most powerful low-level laser therapy device on the market. It utilizes Lumitech technology, which includes 500 medical grade lasers and LEDs. Many devices on the market only use lasers, but the combination of medical grade lasers and LEDs ensures more thorough coverage and a complete treatment. There are several important factors that need to be optimized in order to get the best results from low-level 
level laser therapy. And iRestore really does that with this device as well as their others. There are three main factors that you need to consider when it comes to how good a device is going to be. The first is what wavelengths of light are they using? Wavelengths are essentially the color. They utilize wavelengths of red light, specifically 625, 655, and 680 nanometers of red light. I know that sounds very technical, but this triple combination of wavelengths ensures a more powerful and deep treatment. I know that sounds very technical, but this triple wavelength combination ensures a deeper and more effective treatment. The other thing I look at is what is the power? How bright is it? You can have the right wavelength, but if it's not bright enough, uh, probably not going to do much. The iRestore Elite uses 2,500 milliwatts of power. The third factor I take into account is fluence, which is essentially the dosage. So from a technical perspective, the iRestore Elite is already looking very attractive. But then you take into account the overall design of the device. The device really gives very comprehensive scalp coverage. Many devices on the market I have found don't really give good scalp coverage. Both lasers and LEDs are evidence-based ways of delivering low-level laser therapy for hair growth. What is the benefit then of using a combination of medical grade lasers and LEDs? Many devices on the market just use lasers. Advantage here is it actually gives you a more comprehensive scalp coverage for a more thorough and effective treatment. Not only are iRestore devices clinically backed and they have the technical specs that make them attractive as the best devices on the market, I've used them myself. Starting out, I've used the iRestore professional device for many years. When they launched the iRestore Elite device, I knew I had to give it a try because it has more medical grade lasers and LEDs. 500, it's the most powerful device on the market. I've been using it now for over six months at this point, and I really do find that myself personally, I am experiencing many benefits using this device. What benefits have I seen personally? Well, I have seen an improvement in thickness, density, and I've seen a reduction in hair shedding. I think I'm getting even better results than I was with the Iris Store Professional, although I did see a lot of benefit using the Iris Store Professional. One thing I always emphasize to you guys when it comes to any at-home device, it only works if you use it. One of the things I like the most about the Iris Store Elite device is how easy it is to use. It just takes 12 minutes, so it's like no time. The device is very lightweight and comfortable, so it's easy to wear while you are doing other things. You forget it's even on there. Then the other thing that I take into account when it comes to recommending a device to people, this is a big investment up front, admittedly. And like I said, it will only work if you are going to be able to commit to using it. It won't work if it's just sitting in the drawer and you only use it here and there. One of the things I like most about iRestore as a company is they offer a 12 month money back guarantee, which is awesome because if you know anything about hair growth process, it doesn't happen overnight. So you need to give this time in order to tell for yourself if it's gonna work out for you. They extend their money back guarantee out to 12 months really says a lot because three months for some people may not be enough time to really say for sure if a device is working. The fact that you can take it all the way to 12 months and if at 12 months you're not happy, then by all means, get your money back. I think it's really telling that they that they extend that courtesy to, to their customers. The other reason I recommend the iRestore Professional Elite device and their other devices as well boils down to safety. Their devices are third party tested for safety and they're FDA cleared. The last thing I would want is for somebody to buy a device that I recommended and have it like not be the right wavelengths, have it overheat, malfunction. That would be a disaster. I'm confident in the iRestore devices because they go above and beyond to test their products for safety. And they've been clinically tested for efficacy as well. So not only is it a effective device, but it is safe to use and it's convenient and it's easy to do. What kind of results might you expect with iRestore? Clinical studies show that patients get over 43% increase in the number of hair with the iRestore Elite device after just four months. Now, not everyone's hair regrowth journey is the same, may take some people a little bit longer, but you might start seeing results even sooner. So stay patient, stay consistent with it. It definitely is a great option for at-home treatment of 
androgenetic alopecia. At home, low level laser therapy not only is evidence based, but it really gives you some flexibility in tailoring what treatments you want to do. You know, it's a medication free treatment, but it also can be used in conjunction with other treatment modalities. So if you're somebody who's not interested in those other treatment modalities, this might be something to consider. Or if you're somebody who is interested in those things, you're following with your dermatologist, it's possible to get even better results when you combine low level laser therapy with whatever treatments you are already doing. All right, guys. So in summary, yes, I am still using the iRestore Elite device myself. Um, really happy with it, continue to use it. And I continue as a board certified dermatologist to recommend it as a safe and effective evidence-based at home treatment for androgenetic alopecia. Like I said, it's a bit of an investment. So give it some thought if you haven't already. Think about if it's something that you are willing to try that you think you can commit to doing 